Welcome back to Backup All. Today we'll learn VM and uh, SQL Backup configuration in Rubrik. Uh, before configuring Backup, we should have some prerequisites. Uh, uh, that is, port should be open between uh, ESXi host and Rubrik cluster uh, and uh, vCenter and Rubrik cluster. ESXi and Rubrik cluster is 902 and uh, vCenter and Rubrik cluster is 443. We should have one service account, service account, uh, dedicated service account to integrate vCenter to Rubrik. Uh, the service account should be added in vCenter uh, with the uh, minimum few uh, privileges. The privileges are defined by Rubrik. Uh, the, there should be one role created in vCenter with minimum privileges which are defined by rubric and uh, role should be added to service account in the uh, vCenter then vCenter is ready to add in rubric so we'll learn how to add rubric vCenter in rubric so first uh, we have to navigate or log into RSC navigate to uh, app tray settings data sources vCenter servers so once we log uh, navigate to here, uh, we will see one add vCenter. So select add vCenter, then uh, we will get these options. We have to select vCenter, enter vCenter name, username. Username is uh, service account at the rate some domain dot com. It comes. Then password, we have to update. Once we click next. We will get the uh, rubric clusters uh, which are added in that RSC. So select uh, uh, rubric cluster to which class to which we have to assign. Uh, I mean, we have to integrate vCenter. Then uh, click next. Then we will get the option to validate the uh, connection. If connection is good, then we are uh, good to uh, integrate vCenter. Click on add then vcenter would be added and uh, all the uh, it would be uh, refreshed in few minutes it will get connected properly then we will be able to see all the vms in the vcenter from rubric so once we are uh, able to see the vms in rubric then we can go ahead and configure uh, vm vm backups so the navigation is inventory all v vSphere VMs. Then we can see all the uh, VMs in that vCenter which we integrated. So once we uh, see those VMs, select any VM which we need to take backup. Click on manage protections, then assign SLA domain. SLA domain we already discussed in previous uh, session. So once SLA domain is assigned, uh, backup will trigger as per a scheduled uh, window. Next, we'll learn about SQL backup configuration. For SQL backup configuration, we have a few prerequisites like uh, ports. Ports, uh, uh, the firewall port should be open uh, between rubric cluster and uh, db host the ports are 137 138 these are udp ports then 139 and 445 is tcp 10800 and 108101 is tcp again so here also we should have one service account uh, the service account for uh, sql uh, backup configuration once we install RBS agent, we have to assign uh, assign service account to that uh, RBS account, RBS uh, services, and this service account should be granted with the uh, uh, sysadmin privileges. Then the servers uh, once we added uh, service account to rubric backup service, we have to restart the uh, uh, services. So how to install uh, RBS agent to uh, 
SQL host. Uh, the navigation is uh, settings, data sources. Then we have to select Windows. Once we select window, uh, uh, hit on add host. When we hit on add host, we will get cluster option. We have to select cluster here. Uh, once we select cluster, then we can see the uh, option to uh, download the RBS agent. Click on this. I want to install and register RBS software now. Then we will get one option to download. Uh, download that agent and get it installed in SQL host. Once uh, RBS is installed, agent is installed in SQL host. Then we have to perform from pre uh, few prerequisites which we discussed in previous uh, slide like uh, service account. We have to add service account. To add service account, before adding service account, same service account should be added in local admin groups of the server. Then only we will be able to add service account to rubric backup service. Once we added rubric, I mean service account to rubric backup service, then we are good to uh, configure backup a SQL database backup. So once we uh, added service account, then we have to add the SQL host to rubric. That time again, we have to uh, navigate windows, I mean data sources window, add host. Then we can see the this screen. Here we have to select uh, rubric cluster uh, on uh, through which we have to take backup of the SQL host. So here you can see one option like uh, uh, I have already installed and uh, registered the RBS software. Uh, so select that one. Then uh, we can select uh, add host by IP or FQDN. Select this option. First one is for cloud clusters only, not for uh, on-prem clusters. So once we uh, select this option, we will get the option to add the uh, host name with FQDN or uh, IP address we can add once we add it then click I mean once we enter here then we can add the host once we add it successfully we can uh, we can configure backup so if there is any port issue uh, 12800 or 12801 are not open between uh, I mean between rubric cluster and sql host then we will not be able to add the host here so when when ports are open then only here we will be able to add the host sql host then once we added sql host uh, we have to navigate uh, data protection inventory all uh, sql databases then we can see this option here we can see uh, sql databases so if the ports 137138 and 139 are open then only we will be able to see those uh, databases and uh, databases will be discovered here otherwise uh, we will not be able to see databases so once we uh, able to see that uh, sql host here then select uh, click on that SQL. We can configure uh, uh, two ways here, uh, multiple ways here, like uh, on host level, uh, backup, or on instance level or database level. So if you are, if you wish to configure backup on host domains, select a uh, host and uh, add the SLA domain. If you wish to add SLA domain on instance level means click on this host name then we can see how uh, number of instances so select uh, uh, for which instance we need to take backup I mean we need to configure backup select that uh, instance and assign SLA domain if still uh, if we need to configure database level still click on that uh, instance we can see all the databases within that uh, uh, instance so you can select uh, uh, databases and assign the SLA domain. There is 
one more option here to uh, select databases search databases and uh, assign sla domain there is a option to take backup of uh, failover cluster fca so the, from here also we can take then there is available t group backup also we can take from here and log shipping uh, targets also we can configure so once we uh, assigned SLA domain, uh, SLA, in the SLA domain, we will uh, select, you know, log frequency, backup frequency, log retention, backup re retention, everything. As per that uh, uh, SLA domain, we uh, the backup will trigger. If we are uh, configuring AG groups, availability groups, so uh, suppose if we have two nodes in that uh, uh, AZ, suppose primary and secondary, primary is in one region and secondary is in other region. So both nodes should be configured in same uh, rubric cluster uh, so that uh, uh, whenever primary and secondary interchanges, uh, the backup will run seamlessly. Yeah, uh, here and today, uh, thank you for.